Later. Some labor unit out here. Oh, I can't see in. But you can see out. That's cool. Oh my gosh. All right. That's the uh, airlock that's disabled. Um, let me uh, let me check something real quick. Sorry, viewers. Okay, just making sure everything is working fine. It, it's a little laggy on my end. I was making sure it wasn't laggy on the stream. I don't think it is. Pan. What is pan? I will I will go to it. I'm escaping this <laughs> this place. Am I there's no way I can actually... I can... Dude. I didn't expect this amount of freedom whenever I first played this game. I did not expect this amount of freedom. Okay, these are moons. These are Saturn's moons. Okay. Makes more sense now. I still am kind of curious as to how far it'll actually let me go. Atlas. Oh, dude, this is sick. Look at that anomaly. Holy crap. Can you, like, for those who don't have VR or who are, are watching, can you just imagine looking at this with the headset on? It's so cool. I want to go up to this this rock, this asteroid. Or not, I guess it wouldn't be an asteroid, would it? Oh, okay. okay. Well, all right. I found a thing you're not supposed to do. <laughs> I was gonna try and catch it, but um, apparently there is no there is no such thing as it's fake. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess I did come way out here when I wasn't supposed to. Still, I'm glad that they allowed you to. That's super cool. Man, look at this. If you could survive the vacuum of space, is this what it would be like to just be floating through space? I wonder if there's anything up in these container pods. I doubt they would do this, but I wonder if there are any like really well-hidden cube sats cube satellite things whoa made it they do let you grab onto this hey there's earth haha <laughs> earth is so far away oh my gosh i'm just sitting here floating in space. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just enjoying this way too much. This is so cool. Depleted dig site. Okay, well. What was my objective again? What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Investigate container field. Where is that? Container field. That? Maybe? A 
approaching container field. I'm picking up latent radiological activity in that area. Something must have contaminated the cargo. There's no way we'll get a clear read on the anomaly with all that interference. You'll need to find the source of the radiation and jettison it. My scanner should help me track down the culprit. Best guess? I'd say you're looking for levels around 80 or 90 decigrees. If you get into trouble, remember you can use the Fury Module's induction panel to recharge your shields. Okay, so I am supposed to be way over here, away from the ship. I didn't ride, I, I suppose I was supposed to ride one of those transports, but I didn't, because I'm lame. Radiation absorption at 30 decigrees and climbing. You're getting warmer. Watch yourself. Shields at 95%. Found it. Radiation exceeding 80 decigrees. You must be right on top of the source. Try using your scanner to locate it. I am trying. I'm gonna die. Shields at 50%. Yes, I know. I know. Agitated deuterium ions detected. Deuterium? That's a hydrogen isotope. How'd that end up in one of our helium-3 containers? Unclear. The processing line is configured to scrub any excess hydrogen. Ah, sod it. For now, let's just deal with the contamination. I'll dispatch a fury to remove the irradiated container. Wait, something's wrong. What is it? I... I can't get the fury transport to decouple from the container on the upper rack. I can throw the manual override on the fury's hitch. Stand by. I'll make my way up there now. I am... out of... just about out of shields. Just Approaching fury transport. Careful. Okay. Once you decouple the transport's hitch, the autopilot's likely to kick in. So either get clear or find something to hold on to. All right. Uh. Look at this, look at this. Oh, here we go. What am I, what am I doing here? Unlocking this hitch will release the Fury transport. The Fury is stuck on the upper rack. Throwing the manual override should get it moving. Fury hitch released. Autopilot's taking over. So far, so good. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, there's some. Ah! Jack? Are you alright? Affirmative. But the container was breached. The contamination is spreading. Well, that certainly didn't go as planned. Whoa. Okay, I've got an idea. If I release the container's maglocks, the Fury should just oh. carry it away. Too Reboot late, I'm dead. Initiated. I need to be more careful when operating in irradiated environments.
My bad. <laughs> I got over irradiated. Oh god, what is. Did I just have a. frame hitch freeze thing? Select your destination. Uh. Whoa. Destination container field. Okay. Preparing Here we for go. This is, ignition. This is what Please I was originally supposed to do. Dude, awesome. Oh. Jack, cut through those power supplies before what the radiation was that? corrupts our entire ship. That was a cube, I think. I just ran rammed into a little cube. And now it's gone forever because it got it got rammed hard. And it flew off. That sucks. Will I not be able to find that now? That's lame. Oh, that's lame. I can use the spotlight. Oh, God. Stop. I'm trying to use this thing. This. Oh, it is working. Okay. Anyway, that cube is gone. There ain't no saving that cube. So I'm not going to be able to gather every single cube in this game like I wanted to. Shields at 95%. Do I need to mention this is a gross violation of protocol? It's either this or risk contaminating the entire shipment. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Ah! Whoa! Holy sh what the hell just happened? Explosive decompression. The escaping gas caused the container to jettison itself. Okay, so not exactly what we were aiming for, but... Uh, well, I suppose that takes care of our radiation problem. Good work. The sensor should be able to scan the anomaly free of interference. Okay, okay. Good start. We still need to find out what happened at the primary dig site and on the processing line. Let me know when you find out more. Hold on. Something's wrong with that fury transport. The one that collided with the container. What's wrong with it? It's... I'm, I'm really not sure. It's moving erratically. Runaway fury. wildly off its flight path. Could be a problem with the fury's flight dynamics. Probably just need to reset the navcom. If you get a chance, would you mind looking into it? Copy that. And I'm not sure, but I think we might need to resynchronize the container field's inventory control system. Are these issues urgent? Not really. Neither one's going to keep us from scanning the anomaly. Consider them both secondary priorities. Damn, this is... Come on. Come on. Ugh. Nice. Good work, Jack. What Ooh. is it? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just... It was like watching some sort of weird robot rodeo. Cowboy Jack ropes himself a fury. <laughs> Do I get a hat? A hat, fancy boots, shiny spurs. We'll fix you right up. Till then, you can just leave the fury where it is. I'll have Hera run some diagnostics on it before I can reconnect the remote link. I'll be a space. That. I'm oh. moving on. Happy trails, partner. So long, space cowboy. Okay. So, Navcron, how do I, boop, 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 how do I, uh, navigate to where I'm supposed to go?
dude. Liv, you were right. The inventory control system is out of sync. Probably got knocked off cycle by one of those pulses. In order to resynchronize the inventory system, you'll have to quickly scan each of the three I.O. ports in the container field. Hera, mark the location of each I.O. port on my HUD. Once you scan the first I.O. port, you'll have roughly 70 seconds to scan the other two. If you don't make it, the system will reset and you'll have to start again. Sounds fun. Whoa, whoa. All right, so where are these, uh, do I have to, do I, is this one I have to scan? Oh, maybe? Okay, so. Oh, every time it's in some weird That's location. One. Clock is running, 70 seconds. Seconds remaining. One more to go. Gotcha. Thirty seconds remaining. Gotcha. Success. Inventory control station synchronized. That was impressive. I'm good. It wasn't all that difficult. After all, I was specifically designed to handle these types of demanding situations. Plus, you're incredibly modest. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm done with that one. Now where do I go? Ow. Just hit my head. Uh... Where to now? Depleted dig site? To the anomaly! To infinity! No, let's uh... That's done. Well, let's check out my objectives. Uh, I can't... It won't let me... Okay. Look. All I want to do is just... I'm still trying to work out just how the hell we wound up with a container full of concentrated deuterium. I'm not certain. Deuterium is a byproduct of helium-3 atomic decay. But helium-3 is a stable isotope. It would take centuries for it to decay. It doesn't make any sense. Whoa. Having a little bit of frame stutter. Let me check and make sure that the the video is still doing okay. It's hard to tell sometimes. It, yeah, it still seems to be running. So I'm just gonna continue on. While I'm floating away, let me just take a. Oh yeah, look at that. Just take a look at everything. I don't know what happened to that little... It might have just been a rock or something that got hit. Jack, why are you at the depleted dig site? I appreciate the enthusiasm, but we're not ready to scan yet. We need to finish repairing the rest of the facility first. Oh. Well, my apologies then, okay? I didn't know where I was supposed to go, Liv. Select your destination. 
current location. Oh, here's the primary dig site. That's where I wanted to go. Destination, primary dig site. All right, well, let's Preparing go for, for thruster ignition. Uh, Please hold on. Legs. Okay, cool. <laughs> there, fixed. <laughs> a couple of issues with the game, but mm, it's all right. I see a cube. I see a cube. I'm coming back for you. Jack, this is kind of important. Get back here and help me survey the damage to the facility. I'm going. Calm down, woman. Oh, uh. Oh, my game crashed. Cool. Well, I guess that's going to be the end of this stream or this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Skid, I'll see you guys next time.